Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Spring is in the air and we are all very excited about it here at Paracord Planet. And we would like to say goodbye and thank you to winter. So as we kick it out the door, we're gonna do it with the Snow Leopard Weave. So for our project today, we are gonna be using 10 feet of electric blue 550 paracord. And we have that already set up on our jig, ready to go. We are going to be using a four strand core today, and if you need a reminder on how to set that up, we have a link to a previous video in our description. We're also going to be using 10 feet of neon yellow 550 paracord. We have our lancing needle, some scissors, and to end everything, our lighter. So once you have your neon yellow lanced through the top of our cow hitch, you want to find the middle of that, and we can start the first step of our weave here. Our first step is we're going to take the right working strand of our neon yellow. We're going to go over top of the right most inner strands. We're going to go under the third one and then back over top of the fourth inner strand. We're gonna bring that tight. We're gonna take the left working strand and we want to make sure that it goes over top of our right working strand. And we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to go over top of the left most inner core. We're going to go under the third and back over top of that fourth inner strand. So when you bring it tight, it should create a little bit of an X right in the middle of your strands. For our next step, we're going to take our right working strand of our electric blue. We're going to go over top of our neon yellow. We're going to take the working strand, we're going to go under the rightmost inner strand, loop it around, and bring it under itself. So when you tighten it, you want a loop that looks like that. We're going to do the exact same thing for our left electric lube working strand. We want to go over top of the neon yellow, we want to go under and around the leftmost inner strand and back underneath itself. So we've created an X with our neon yellow and we have two loops with our electric blue and now we're going to start cinching everything together. And you want to kind of take this a little bit on the slow side so what I like to do is tighten the yellow cords together then tighten up the electric blue. And for this, I always find that it helps to actually push up on the knot itself and then pull on the string so that you can just make it as tight as you can get it. And one of the important things about this weave too is just making sure that the four cords are spread out. You just don't want any of the cords to be going underneath any of the other inner cords. We're gonna put our two blue working strands back at the top. And right now we are back to step one. So again, we're going to start with our right working strand of our neon yellow. We're going to go over top of the first two. We're going to go underneath the third core strand and back over top of that fourth one. We're going to do the same thing with our left working strand. Again, over two, under the third, back over top of the fourth. Make that X with your neon. And as you can see, as you do tighten that down a little bit, the outer cores want to kind of go underneath the inner cores, and we're just going to keep working in the back to make sure that that does not happen. We're going to take our right working strand with our electric blue, making sure that we go over top of our neon yellow. We're going around the rightmost strand and back underneath itself. We're going to be doing the exact same thing with our electric blue on the left. We're going around the left inner strand and back around and underneath itself. And just as we did with our first weave up top, we're going to start cinching down the yellow and then cinching down the electric blue. So with that, we are back to the beginning of our weave and we're just going to continue the exact same pattern. We'll come back to the video when we're done with the bracelet. 
All right, now that we are finished with our weave and we have our cords at the end here, we are going to take our weave off of the jig and it is time to cut and singe our paracord. And there we do have our completed snow leopard weave and i really really enjoy this weave i like it because it is a little on the thin side and i've mentioned before on a couple other videos that when it comes to bracelets i like a little bit of a thinner bracelet i like a bracelet that you can kind of twist and kind of move around a little bit i don't like too stiff a bracelet so this is a great weave for something like that and it definitely is not the easiest weave so a nice nice intermediate weave for the snow leopard Thank you so much for checking out the video, and if it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. If there's anything you'd like to let us know here at Paracord Planet, you can let us know in the comments below. That's the best way to get a hold of us. And a big thank you to everybody who has already liked, subscribed, and commented. We are seeing those comments, and we are going to be incorporating them into some future videos. Thank you so much again for checking the video out. We'll see you next time.